Hi guys, it's Irish and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today is my day off and I decided to go for a walk and yeah, I just got home and decided to make this video to update y'all kung ano na bang mga ganap sa aking buhay dito sa US. So, okay. Okay, lock na. Ato sa tayo. So, every neighborhood merong uh, parang maliit na park with a swimming pool. Pero normally, yung pool nila hindi naman ganun kalaki. So, yun guys. Tulawit na ako kasi nasa kabilang side yung park. Dito sa may malapit sa high school, meron kasi yung pedestrian lane. So, mas safe na tumawid eto na siya guys hindi na tayo kamatis. Itong kamatis ito basta na lang siya tumubo. Not actually basta tumubo. Um, last year, springtime, nagtanim ako. Pero lahat sila namatay. So, this time, merong tumubo na mag-isa. Tapos, may maliit pang humabol yan. So, yan na lang ang inaalagaan ko for now. Kasi siya tumubo siya ng, sa sarili niyang willingness. Kaya, yeah. Tapos ito naman, meron na akong spinach at chives. And then, dito meron akong papaya. Tinry ko lang. Hindi ko naman sure kung tutubo sila. Pero tinry ko lang din. Kasi bumili ako ng papaya last time. And uh, I just wanna try kung maganda yung kalalagsan. And then, ito naman para siyang orange pero pinakamaliliit na orange siguro parang kasing liit siya ng kalamansi pero pahaba lang bigay siya sa akin ng boss ko and sabi niya galing pa daw yun ng California hindi siya makapagpatubo dito kasi sobrang init nga dito sa Texas so yun kaya tinry ko and medyo malaki na siya oh and saktong sakto lang yung uh, lugar na to dito sa may uh, front porch Alright, let's go. So, yeah, I'm guessing na tulupang aking mister. 
Kaya naman, hindi ako masyadong mag-iingay kasi hindi ko sure kung anong oras siya nakatulog kagabi. Sinundo niya kasi ako sa trabaho mga 1.30am na. Kasi ang tagal, ng, ang tagal ko doon sa work kahapon kasi may, may, ayan, an, ba't ang dilim ko? Um, may shipment na dumating so kailangan namin asikasuhin yun muna bago kami makauwi so 1.30 supposedly I uh, had to go home ng 11 pero yun nga so yung pag ganun syempre magdadrive siya kaya kailangan awake talaga pag uwi namin dito hindi na siya ano hindi siya agad makatulog So, yun. I'll try to be quiet as much as possible. Ngayon, inom lang ang tubig, then pahinga konti, kape. Okay? Let's go. trip to the Philippines, ang dami ng ganap. So, una na nga dyan, eh, yung nakapaghanap ako ng work dito sa US. Uh, other than that, may iba bang mga ganap na hindi ko kayo na-update. So, I know you've noticed na medyo matagal na yung last video ko na related sa application for my adjustment of status. So, yeah, it took um, them a year before ako magkaroon ng interview date so that's right you heard it right i just received my interview date from the uscis and it's gonna be on july 20th 2019 so if we, i can remember it correctly nagpasa kami ng application for my aos um was july 18 or 16 or 18 something like that last year so that was after we got married and um Yeah, when we called them, because we were expecting it to be like four to six months para magkaroon ako ng um, AOS interview schedule. However, it did not happen. So, ang unang nangyari is dumating yung aking um, employment authorization document at advance parole. So, yung ID, na una siya bago yung aking green card. So, yeah, they we, we tried to call them and they said na it actually might take like 18 to 24 months bago ako magkaroon ng interview date. So, and it took them 12 months, which is better, I guess, kasi sa Dallas, ang dami daw talagang applicants. So, ang daming cases, kaya medyo mabagal ang pagpaprocess nila. So, thankfully, I have my interview date. However, yeah, Um, uh, prior to that, bago namin ma-receive yung interview date or yung notification actually from online, um, we made a plan and we're actually going to Florida by next week. Yeah, we're going to Florida and we're, we are going to stay there for a month. Like actually two weeks sa Florida and then two weeks sa Tennessee. So, we will be gone for a month, which means na I won't be here on my interview date. So, ano ba ang ginawa namin? So, last Monday, we uh, tried to call the USCIS to inform them that we have this um, prior, um, how do you call that, prior commitment. And sayang din naman guys yung pera na pinampabook namin sa condo sa Florida. So, we can actually go back here in Texas pero sayang yung pera. That's why uh, gusto namin na masulit din naman yung uh, ginastos, ginastos kasi bayad na yung condo. Uh, and then go back here to prepare for my interview. So, they said, okay, we are going to... Um, send a request na gusto mong ipa-reschedule yung, yung interview but it will take two to three months bago ka magkaroon ng interview date which is fine kasi 
um, my medical results when I was applying for a K-1 visa, it was already past a year already. So, expired na. Kailangan ko nang magpa-medical ulit. Which means, nakakailanganin din yun for my interview. They said na okay lang naman kahit wala ka pang medical during your interview. Pero pag hinanap, kakailanganin mo magpa-medical and then go back to them. So, which means magkakaroon ka ng RFE or uh, request for additional evidences. Eh, since we already requested for rescheduling my interview, baka naman ma-trigger na sila sabi na, eh, babisyo ka. Kaya, we are planning to have my medical exam done before we go to my interview, which we don't know yet. So, but basically, we cancelled and tried to reschedule it. So, yun yung unang big update sa aking um, sa aking buhay-buhay dito sa US. And the second one is yun nga, bugo. We're going to Florida next week. And yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a good one for us. And yeah. And then third is um, I also got my certificate slash report from the CGFNS for my credential evaluation service, which means... Um, na evaluate na nila yung aking license and my certificate from my school na legit na pwede ako makapag NCLEX dito sa US sa Texas specifically so yeah I got it I got their email last um, last week and um, they said na after three business days we or the Texas bond will receive my certificate. So before that, I tried, before they send it to them, I tried to make an account to send my application uh, to have or to take the board exam at uh, Texas bond. However, while I was uh, filling out the, the information, uh, it was asking for first name, middle name, and last name. And as you all know, I have two first names, which is Irish Jane, and they did not allow me to do that. So what happened was it only has my first name, one for the first first name, my middle name, which is my mom's um, middle name, and then my married name. So it's crazy because... I know that the CGFN has, has sent them my certificate and whenever I try to uh, check my status online sa Texas Bond, it won't show na nandun na yung aking certificate. Which means there's a conflict kasi magkaiba yung name. Now, I emailed them na I want to change it and I also emailed the CGFNS as well kung magkakaroon ba ng issue and they said they might be, there might be an issue kung ganon ang aking case. It's hassle kasi it wasn't my fault. I mean, they didn't allow me to put my other first name, which is legal naman, di ba? So, kasi dito sa US, guys, if you have two first names, let's say Irish Jane, Jane will be your middle name. So, hindi siya part ng first name. Our middle name is our parent or our mom's mid, uh, middle name or like, yeah maiden last name so it's not how it works here that's why it's kind of like um com uh, it's complicated so yeah but i'm trying to have it done and um yeah and another thing so fourth um update is so no ma receive ko yung aking um employment authorization document I had my social security number done and I also tried to take the written test for the driving um, license or driver's license so I did that once we got back from the Philippines I passed and I have my um, license already so it's nice na you know I have a valid ID here Texas and I don't need to like 
show my passport each and every time na kakailanganin ng valid ID. So, I have my own valid ID with the Texas logo in it as well. So, yun lang. And then, next time, I will be making a video kung paano ko ba pinroseso yung aking CGFNS and kung ano ba yung mga uh, documents na kakailanganin ko for my interview and um i'll let you guys know kung kailan ba yung aking interview once we receive it let me guys know if you have any questions regarding the aos uh, requirements or sa k1 visa processing or anything na kailangan ninyo once you get here in the united states i will try my best na sagutin ang inyong questions i can also answer your questions through my social media account instagram and twitter uh I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!